Okay, so we are going to go over how to approximate numbers on a number line. So as you can see here, we have both irrational numbers and then we also have rational numbers. Now again, when it says approximate, that doesn't mean that you have to know exactly what the number is to the decimal point. We just want to make a roundabout guess of where it's at, but we want to try to guess as close as we can. So for number one here, we have two pi. Now we know that pi is about 3.14. So I know that 2 times 3 is 6, so we can take a guess and say this is about 6.28, which for that is pretty close. So I want to go 6.28 would be in between 6 and 7, and it's a little bit closer to 6, about a fourth of the way. So I can make a mark, and I can say that is where 2 pi is. So there's number 1. Number 2, the square root of 10. Um, I can approximate square roots by knowing what my perfect squares are. So I know that the square root of 10 is in between the square root of 9, which is 3, and it's in between the square root of 16, which is 4. Now, because 10 is a lot closer to 9 than it is 16, I know that the square root of 10 is going to be a lot closer to 3 than what it is 4. So again, this is a guess, approximate. We don't have to know exactly, but I'm going to say this is about 3.2. It might be 3.3. .3, it might even be closer to 3.4. It could even be closer to 3.1. But it's going to be somewhere in between 3 and 4, but a lot closer to 3. So I'll put a mark there on about where I think 3.2 is and that is the square root of 10. So we're done with that one. Next is 13 over 3. Now again, by knowing what um, my fractions are, I know that 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4, and then I also know that 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So because 13 is in between 12 and 15, that means my answer has to be between 4 and 5. But since 13 is so much closer to 12 than it is to 5, then I can say that this is about 4.3. So that is taking the same approach as what we do for the square roots. If you wanted to, you could take 13 over 3 and break that down as 12 over 3 plus 1 over 3. And then so you get 4 and 1 thirds. So again, either way we do it, we should have the same answer um, as about 4.3 or 4 and a third either way. So I go in between 4 and 5, a little bit closer to 3, and that is where 13 over 3 would be. And then last we have the square root over 20. So again we have another uh, square root that is not a perfect square, but by knowing our perfect squares we're going to be able to approximate. So the square root of 20 is in between the square root of 16 and the square root of 25. I know that the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of 25 is 5. Now 20 is a little bit closer to 16 than it is to 25, but it's pretty close to the middle. So for this one, we're going to approximate it as 4.5. It might be closer to 4.4 again, but that's, that's not important knowing exactly what it is. It's can we put it on a number line. So. I know it's in between 4 and 5, but it should be right at about the middle. Um, so 13 over 3 was a little bit closer to 4. So I can go a little bit past 13 over 3, and that is where 4.5 would be. So that is where the square root of 20 is. And now we have approximated each of those numbers without a calculator, and now you know more.